Some people might think cop watching is about chasing strobe lights and sirens. Lights, I see some lights. Two We're gonna stop right here. The dispatcher's checking Thank on them. All right, they say Thanks. they're checking clear. Let's see, they've got someone in the back seat. We're gonna get out and get this. But it's really about understanding what happens in the community and working to improve the human condition. This driver is not suspected of committing a crime. She is having trouble making it home after an overnight hospital stay following a minor vehicle crash. Okay, I'm uh, Justin Pulliam. I run a Facebook page and I was going to fill you up with gas if that's okay. Oh, okay. Would that help you get home? Yes, I'm going to Texas City. I can't wait to get there. Does it just take regular gasoline? Uh, it, High premium? It don't matter. It don't matter. I don't think it matters. Well, what does it really, what do you normally put in it? I just put one. You just do regular? I'm going to do regular too. <laughs> that works for you. Hey, <laughs> on <a> high premium. <laughs> oh, man. So you think she can make it to Texas City? Yeah, she just direction wise she's lost. Okay. But in the so she had to go get her car out and all. Oh, she, so out she's out had a heck of a 24 yes. hours. And she just wants to get on. And no one to, to come help her. I hate that. Yep. Yeah. One day if we get enough resources, we really want to amp up what we're able to do to help people. Yeah. Because the churches are whatever. There's just not enough. I know. I, I mean, y'all y'all don't even have like a Salvation Army or anything in Lake no, Jackson, do you? Like, no, what do y'all do with homeless people? So, well, I mean, it used to be in Freeport, but they uh -huh. they closed for remodeling. They never, they so there's nothing down. down here at all. Yeah, we were talking about that a couple nights ago. We just don't know what to do with everyone. It's tough. Yeah, it's, it's and, and like we don't think police should be everyone's babysitter, but no one right. else is, right? Right, right. So, what was that other deal? Y'all were out with an intoxicated person or something? I mean, I don't know. I've been. I wasn't paying attention either. They toned out EMS. I'm like, what? Man, if I'm not there, so much stuff goes on. You know, if I'm you not just there, don't I'm even let it go. Yeah. Yeah. The next day, I'm like, I'm like, what happened? You, you, you did what yesterday? Where was that? We're going to go over to Freeport City Council. We'll see how exciting that gets. Oh, so. Then we're going to try to make y'all's too. I, I hear the. I hear the Freeport ones have been pretty entertaining lately. Oh, they have? Then I guess that's where we should be. <laughs> well, the controversy here is over bunny rabbits. I've heard about that, too. Mm. Have they made a decision? No, they're putting restrictions tonight. But I don't know how they could... I mean, come on. The bunnies... If you have dogs and cats, they're worse than a bunny rabbit. They definitely can. All right, well, I hope she makes hey, it home. Thank you very much. I You're welcome. That. Have a good evening. Yes, sir. Thank you. Many police officers serve the public and focus on real crime. Unfortunately, some are caught up in using unconstitutional city codes as purported legal cover to harass certain groups of people. Hi, I'm Justin Pulliam. I uh, do Cop Watch. Are y'all doing okay this evening? I just noticed y'all had a lot of stuff uh, that y'all are moving around. Uh, yeah. uh, are y'all having dinner here? No, we're, we're getting something to drink. Would you mind if I bought y'all's drinks? I'm um, sure. We're having just we don't have nowhere to go. I appreciate it. Oh, well, would y'all like some food or some drinks? I'll buy it for you. Ooh. Have y'all had dinner already? You didn't have anywhere to go. Do I have? I don't know. I, I don't know if there is a place to go. Yeah, have y'all like like had dinner yet? No. Then why don't you get whatever you want? You can get a nice burger if you want. Those are good. They're junior doubles, so we're just our card was still yeah, Okay, well I wanna buy y'all dinner and whatever you want. So get whatever you want and I'll put my credit card in. No, I don't live from around here. No, our card you know, was taken. And we a new one and it's is it really gonna be that cold tonight? Yeah. I'm not sure. They said it's supposed to be 40 degrees. Do you have something other than a t-shirt? I got a blanket, but I'm going to have it. Get, he get said you. it's going to be cold tonight, so get enough food or you're Yeah, I'm just going to do sandwiches and then. Do you want no mayonnaise on yours? 
James is your name? Yes, sir. I'm Justin. So we filmed the cops, and I saw you over here, and I, well, I saw you crossing the street, and I was kind of glad that the cop was occupied because they kind of like messing with people sometimes. And yeah, they, they today, today, this morning, we were over there to apartments. We talked to a friend of ours about staying, and we went to the towards the office because he said to ask the office people. So we went to the office, towards the office, and my basket fell over. Uh -huh. And I was like, mother freaker. They got and caught in the drain. They called, they called the police because... The apartment did? Yeah, the apartment people did. Yeah, and I was right like... On, you know the drain that's right there? Like, you know, no. when you're walking and there's like that orange plastic drain. Which like, apartment? Um, Down there. The one's like uh, Wild Court, Wild Wood, right here on the... Uh, oh, yeah. on the main road right here. Yeah, one. yeah. Are so they called not? Clute on you? That's not very you. nice. Yeah. Like what did Clute do? One day, then, then we were sleeping on a balcony, yeah. not like inside an apartment. How, like, over there by Ashton Oaks. It was an empty, like, the whole deck was empty. Uh -huh. We were on top, yeah, I, I and like that. they you know, pretty much trashed from there. From, there. from that apartment? From an Ashton the, the apartment yeah. people did, or the cops did? The cops woke us up and said, come on. I guess, I guess the apartment people did, but I don't know. But I, yeah, they so, but I was looking I know, for your web page and everything on there. I don't know what you call about. Like, Justin or Jason? I don't know what you say about messing with your name, but and it was, uh, they basically told me today when the loss came. John. He's the one that said. I did have Jay, though. I'm Justin. Justin. See, okay, okay. I'm Crystal. So, the cops are the one that said. Nice to meet you. I said, he said, you visiting somebody here? I said, yeah. He goes, who? I said, apartment 1800. And he goes, because before that, he goes, you know, you're trespassing because you don't know nobody here. I no, said, yes, I he's just harassing you. That's not how it works. Yeah. yeah, they were. Well, the one cop, she's a female cop, and she knew him, you know, and she was really cool. She's like, so how's your dad? And she was nice. She's like the Did you have a scanner? Spanish girl. She's awesome. Do you have a scanner? She's like, yeah. still going she's on? like, so how's your dad? And yeah. how's your mom? She's great, but the mm -hmm. others, they were just like... We're like, uh, the cart fell, and he did. He got a little upset. We're like, we're just waiting for the office to talk to him about renting an apartment because they're the cheaper ones. Yeah, and staying like, with our friend also. Like, well, mm -hmm. now you can't. So one of them was like, yeah, the taller guy said that. I'm going to say what I have hernias, and I got mm -hmm. those veins, and the like, edema. Right. And uh, mm -hmm. my hernia is real big down here. Yeah. 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 John, that's why me and John, a big part of why me and John are trying to do this is that they just need to stop harassing people. Like, what's Don't the judge point? Because God does not like ugly. And, you know, that's what I say. And you never know one, what, what, you know what I'm saying? And it don't. It's a shame that money put, you know. They, they feel like they can get away with messing with you because mm -hmm. they think that you'll never talk to anyone, basically. Right? Today I almost told them, I almost told them. I got one of those on order. I was just playing a, a body was, camera or a radio. Did you guys, did you guys buy those yourself? Is that an HG 870? Really? Those are nice. The, the radio? The radio. No, it's uh, it's Unication G5. Oh, those are uh, nice. Oh, he had cool. some. He... So what bothers you worse, your legs or your hernias? Well, when my my legs, my ankles, and then when I feel my abdomen, it, it, it overrides everything. Like, I won't be able to stand up and walk. I would say more his feet and legs. I said, but he goes my... through shoes. Like, we just got him those shoes not even like two weeks ago, but he goes through shoes the most. Do I mean, you watch like, his Facebook? You no, know, yeah, I met him in over in Angleton, and right away I started like mentioning and spreading the word yeah. about what he does. And everybody was like, what? And I'm like, no. I'm like, shut up and listen. You got to hear the story. It's so important what this man does. And then um, people were like talking about you. And I was like, I told you, like, I felt like I was important because I'd already met you, you know, and it meant something to me. Remember, James? And, well, that's really what um, we was. need is and people it, it, to tell and her. And still when I do, you know. and his story still touches me. It still really touches me. And all my activism is actually a memorial to my daughter Victoria Gray. Maybe the maybe one day my maybe if I can save one person with my camera, then I uh, I feel like I've done the right thing. Don't be too quick to put all the blame on patrol officers. All too often they are strong-armed by corrupt city administrators. When bad police administrators put their knees on the necks of the public and even their own employees, I do what I can to help. Guys here to pay for the hundred. The, the person you put in the cage for a hundred dollars. This person's here to get him out out of debtor's prison. 
for a hundred dollars, hundred and fifteen dollars. So this guy wants to pay Sir, that. Please do not film me. This guy wants to pay that. Yes, Can we get her out pretty quick? Yeah, there's gotta be. You should I mean seriously, you're putting people in a you're putting in people in a cage for a hundred dollars, right? Right, only in America. A hundred dollar warrant. A hundred dollar warrant. I bet when uh, the cops have a warrant like that, y'all don't yeah. confirm the hard copy. I bet you don't, yeah. One like all of the uh, like the blackmail complaints, like the ones that might be like in a filing cabinet, a desk drawer, or the police chief's car. Maybe he brings them. To call. All of those type of <laughs> complaints are what I'm after. So is that they're called drawer complaints? Is that the formal terminology? Oh, I have no idea. Like when you're kind of mad at someone. It's against officers, or yeah, like when you like want to kind of keep an officer here, like you're trying to like play with an officer's career and stuff and all that in their F5 or whatever, but like you haven't actually put it in their personnel file yet. Like those, you know, those intermediary type of complaints yeah. that could go in, could go away, all that, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm not sure specifically. So drawer, I think drawer, drawer complaint or drawer file, something like that. Yeah, and then you, that's what they call in Rosenberg. Call you and ask you specifically. Yeah, well, well, I would just want like any of them against anyone, really. I don't, have like favorite or unfavorite police officers and government employees. I think everyone should be treated right. very respectfully if they're doing their job right. Right, right. Right. So like if they're doing their job wrong, then maybe they need to be written up. But if they're if they're just like making someone upset, but they're doing their job right, probably right. That wouldn't be nice. I wouldn't think so. You, have you paid them already? Well, I can't make 14, but if that's your cash and you keep it and if she paid and give it back to her or whatever, um, but that just broke her heart. We're going to get her out just as soon as possible, but you beat us up here. I'm just doing what I was told to do, man. It's nothing against y'all or anything. No, I'm so glad. No, oh, hardly ever does someone have someone to bail them out so fast. Like, this is very, you're a great friend. I'm on a mission. This is what we're up to. Yeah. And um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Well, good luck to y'all. All right. Thank you. Have a good evening. That lady was very happy. Oh, you mean? She almost started crying. Are you joking or not? No, no. She, was, she, almost, she said, you don't know how much it's going to help. The money? So did he give it to her or what? Yes. He gave it right to her. Okay. More on that story soon. Often, I am on scene during someone's worst day, and I do what I can to help. So I guess you were right at the intersection or something? We were right there at the lights. And the straight lane, I guess, and yeah. they just didn't, it red car dead, just didn't? So it just, I guess the car behind hit the car in the middle, and then the car in the middle hit me. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of damage on that red car. Yeah. It must have been going pretty quick. This man was the victim in this crash, but Fort Bend County deputies treated him the worst. He is a hotshot driver, and his totaled car was how he supported his family. Right, so you were in the middle. I guess someone hit you, and you... Oh, God. And you're feeling okay? Did you talk to the paramedics? Yes, I did talk to them. You don't want to get transported or anything like that? No. I know you may not feel anything today, but tomorrow you're going to feel something. How long do you think it'll take to get done with the black car? Do what? How long do you think it'll take to get done with the black car? What do you mean? To, for you to get whatever so he can leave? Uh, probably another 10, 15 minutes, maybe. Okay, thank you. So, uh, uh so... I drove him home to the opposite side of the county. It wasn't much, but it was all I could do at the time. 
But it's not like the deputies give a damn. Sometimes it is as simple as taking a pair of keys to save a vehicle from being impounded. We're gonna tow my car if you don't. Hey, huh? Mr. Jordan. Mr. Mr. Gray, sitting over here with right now. Yeah. And I can transport you with the key. Jerry, is that okay with you? Well, it won't be towed. You're going to take the key with you. We're going to go together. We're going to stay in the car tomorrow. That's where Mr. Gray was parking. That's where he No one would have won if this car was towed. It has no value other than salvage. The driver wouldn't have been able to afford the tow and impound fees. The tow company would have been stuck with a liability. If you are able, I think it's good to be a part of something bigger by donating to independent investigative journalists or national public interest legal organizations. However, random acts of generosity for people in your community will be even more fulfilling. Instead of rounding up the change to a faceless bureaucratic operation, help your neighbors. Talk to them. See what problems they face. This holiday season, let's start a culture of generosity. Whether that is donating to the poor, filming a police encounter, or just talking to those who are down. You can be a hero. You can save a bad day, or maybe a life.